YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net and we are back here on MLB 16 the show the last time will be on MLB 16 the show because after this we'll move the series over to MLB 17 as uh, we're st well I'm still up in the air about if this series is going to continue uh, for the most part I do want to continue the series uh, if we do so we'll have to try to fast track a lot of stuff here uh, to get this series up and going for ourselves as we've been uh, kind of getting behind here on what we're trying to do uh, Even though we are using uh, rosters that are kind of out of date right now, but hey, you know, we don't mind that uh, But right now today we are in here on the inside We're looking at free agency and looking to see who we can sign to be a part of our squad again and try to see if we can try to three-peat as World Series champions you take a look here David Price is one of the top guys right now on the free agency scene here he is looking for about 26 and a half million dollars per year uh to be a uh, to be a part of a ball club here and well for us that is a little too steep for us uh, as we're trying right now trying to get ourselves here in a position uh to you know win another world series but we don't want to have to break the bank uh while doing it so uh, we're going to be looking at uh, possibly uh, trying to m maybe get um, you know some other uh, guys here. As you see, like like Zimmerman there, he's a good pick right there. I think he uh, you know he had a pretty decent season here, uh, put in some pretty good numbers there. Uh, but I think realist guy might be a guy that we'll go we can go after. Now, if we do go after uh, uh, you know Price, then we're going to have to make a big change in our uh, rotation now a guy that in real life the Royals did go after and, and did snap actually snag here after the 2015 season was Ian Kennedy there so Ian Kennedy looking for about three about five and uh, five and just a little under five and a half per million there uh, is a guy there as you see there eight and ten for his uh, regular season there of course had that really great game there in game four of the World Series against us and we would like, hey, you know, let's put a guy that gave us some, uh, you know, gave us issues and gave us trouble. And, hey, let's try to put him on our team here and see what he can do against others. Uh, so that is something we're looking at here. Uh, is, uh, we're, we, if we do pursue him, and I think we do here, we, we're just gonna only going to give him a three-year contract. Um, roughly around 13.9 mil. Uh, and, and that's something we're gonna look at. Another area we're gonna look at our game. Um, you know, we keep want to keep our, our rotation strong, uh, but we want to also keep that bullpen going because our bullpen was probably in the top ten in a lot of the categories there um, from the uh, from the bullpen perspective of the game. Um, so uh, guys coming in here and, and they closing and help you know put away games and, and get us in position there to for the hold on to lead and and get uh, our closer in there. Uh, that's what we're starting to look at. So we're looking at Drysdale here. He has some pretty good numbers there um, as a uh, middle relief guy. Uh, and, and he is one of the guys that we're potentially going to try to maybe go after and see what we can do uh, with him. So uh, that is something we're going to be looking at um, here. Uh, as we, uh, we're going to go ahead and I think, we, if I'm not mistaken, I think we go ahead and offer him a contract. Um, uh, for next season there so uh, there you see 29 and a half million dollars uh, he's looking around about five and a half or five a little over five and a half there so um, and we'll get to that uh, there so uh, and he's only 30 years of age so if we can sign him to a five-year contract that'll put him around 35 36 uh, by the time his contract's over with yet but I think we're just going to go uh, first uh, well I was going to say four years but I think we go end up going five years now, another player that's on the list right here that, you know, is also asking for quite a bit of money, and deservedly so, don't get me wrong, um, is uh, Chris Davis there. A long time, uh, went up through the ranks of the Orioles, and now he's going to be a potential free agent here. Um, Orioles, we would like to have that bat. Um, he is a lefty there, so and I've been kind of enjoying having lefties in the lineup there. Um but uh, then the question is, where do we put him at? Um, we can't really put him at first because we have Hosmer there at first. Can't really put him at DH uh, because we have 
Lynn, who is our DH, but only, uh, I guess, uh, righties. So he could come in a lefty situation there, uh, but not. I just don't want him there for that for that amount of money uh, for when he's only playing, uh, you know, DH. Uh, I mean, he would do some f- first base work there for a while there, here and there. Um, but I kind of want a guy that is, is feel comfortable being on the bench and not necessarily on the field every day. Uh, and that could, you know, and that might be an issue for Chris. He may not feel that, uh, you know, he may want to be, be on the field, which he's a great defensive player there. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I'm sure he would like to be on the field there also too defensively. So we decided to go after Mike Napoli. So my, my Mike Napoli, he, uh, we go ahead and we sign him, we try to sign him to a contract here. As you take a look here and see some other players getting signed there, you see Feliz um, there getting signed to the Rockies there. They're now they have a closer there, a great closer there, uh, and the money they're looking for for him. Drysdale, well, he does not accept our offer, but he goes to the Red Sox there for two years and about almost $19 million there. Uh, for two years there, so he's gonna go now be a Red Sox there in Boston. So now our issue now of the bullpen now is is probably one of our high, um, you know, probably our highest or not if not the issue that we need to worry about here. As we see, Ian Kennedy, he will now be a part of the Royals. So in real, just like in real life, as in this series here, he is now going to be part of the Royals staff here. He'll be in our rotation. I uh, don't know exactly where the rotation he'll be at. He could be a day three guy, maybe a day four guy. Um, he'll have to fight that along with uh, Brandon Shipley uh, for that day three spot there. But Jordan Zimmerman, no longer a uh, national. Now he is part of the San Diego Padres. So the Padres looking to make a threat here to try to come back. Six-year deal uh, with uh, $63.5 million. Uh, see, uh, Beltran, he'll sign a one-year deal there with the Blue Jays there. He'll be up in, uh, Toronto. As we're still looking at Mike Napoli, still the only team looking at him right now, uh, possibly being a, uh, role for us. And if he is, if we do sign him to the team, then he'll be our, our, uh, backup first baseman and also our backup catcher. Um, and he'll also play DH, um, against left-handed batters. He has some pretty good numbers there uh, against left-handed batters. So he'll be uh, very well utilized in that situation. Matt Wieters, a guy that I was actually looking at here, uh, but a young guy. He wants to be on the field every single day. We have Salvi for that. um, So we're unable to sign in with that. There you see they're just telling us about the 40-man roster. uh, needs to be filled by that date. And uh, if we do not, then they're going to start signing guys um, to our roster there. Um, so just a little bit of some, you know, warnings there, letting us know that uh, we need to hurry up and maybe signs. Plus, to the Drew Rule Five draft is coming up. If you guys remember, that's the draft where you, if you uh, draft players. There, they have to be on your major league roster uh, on day one. Uh, as you see, Jason Hayworth there, he is now a going from a- uh, Atlanta to Philly. Uh, David Price there, he is going to Seattle. So Seattle gets their ace there. As we, uh, you know, just this time, less time in this series here, about this time in this series, we end up picking up, uh, we got King Felix on a good trade there. Uh, and then, uh, Royals, we pick up Brian o, uh, of Olavo. There you see, uh, he gets signed. He's now going to fill in that void there for our relief pitching there. And John East has accepted our contract for the first base coach there. For the Royals, so a lot of things are going in for us here, looking pretty good. Sonny Gray, uh, another guy that we were looking at there, and we decided not to pursue him. He's now going to be a Giants uh, guy. He's going to be part of that bull or that rotation out there. Mike Napoli, he has officially signed now with us, so a three-year contract, roughly somewhere around twenty-four million dollars there, and he is going to help out in that in a really big way there. He's going to be backing up Salvi. Uh, but also he's going to be playing first base there. He's still in the field, uh, and he's going to be playing uh, DH um, for the most part there as as uh, in the left-handed batting order there for so 22.4 uh, million for two years there, and um, that's going to be nice for us there as that's going to be a really good pickup. Like I said, we're not really expecting too much from him, just enough to help us out, uh, and then we'll go ahead and see Richard Herdago now. Uh, Richard um, Holdridge. Now, Holdridge was a very, very key member of the Padres last season. 
on their way going to the World Series. Uh, he had a really, I mean, a monster series there against Pittsburgh. Um, and unfortunately, the Royals were, you know, the Padres didn't get to see him too much in the World Series because the Royals were able to shut him down. Now, um, as you see here, we get a trade offer from the Diamondbacks here. Um, and you guys can look at that. But um, Holdridge is a guy that we would love to have. But the thing is, we already have our first, we have our right fielder. We have our right fielder uh, situation done. That's going to go to um, it's going to go to um, Lynn, who's going to play out and left um, on certain days. Uh, but for right now, we have uh, Marquette is out there, so we have that taken care of. Centerfield's taken care of, and of course, left field we just signed uh, a multi-year contract with Gordon. So outfield is pretty much taken care of. Not to mention, you guys, you got uh, backups like um, Lynn, like I mentioned, also our utility player, uh, that being um, uh, well, actually two utility players. Now that I think about it, we got. Um, ben Zubris, who can play pretty much every position out there, uh, with the exception of catcher and pitcher. Um, and, and there's rumors saying he can play, he gets pretty good arm, too. Um, <laughs> but uh, we also have uh, uh, Fonte out there who can also uh, play outfield there, uh, help us out there. And then, of course, we got some young, uh, we got Bubba Sterling who's going to come up next season. Uh, he's going to be in a backup situation here. Um, so, I mean, we got a lot of, I mean, Outfielders, we're, I'm not too concerned about, but I do want to bring up some uh, and, and, and start cultivating some of those. So we, that's something we're going to be looking at in the draft. That's probably our number one draft um, thing that we'll have to worry about um, coming up for next uh, next year's uh, dr uh, first year draft. But as you take a look here in the uh, the uh, Rule 5 draft here, we're going to look at uh, some uh, possible... Um, guys here we're looking at here now carlos perez um i know you know like i said the outfield is an issue for us but also a catcher position is another deal for us and and carlos perez is one guy that we're looking at here the potential there 70 overall and looks like it's going to go up uh so we can have him somewhere probably around the uh mid anywhere from low to mid 80s uh and as high as there is possible the same thing here with um uh devin Morrow. Um, where you see his numbers there. And again, um, you know, we, we want to work on those uh, two uh, outfield catcher and then uh, relief pitching is uh, another one that's uh, on our, our radar here for next season. Uh, there you see another reliever there, that young guy right there that we can pick up here. Uh, and Dominic uh, Leon there, uh, fastball, cutter, slider, changeup, and a force or a, a two seam fastball there. So I like the that uh, combination of pitches there. Uh, he's a B uh, potential and a 78 overall, and it's going up. Um, so Royals, we've picked our guys there uh, out of the Rule Five draft. There you see, just letting us know that uh, you know that uh, those guys that uh, have to be a part of the 25 man roster, they're on the major league level, and um, we'll all, we'll put them in there. We'll. Uh, see where we're going to actually put them at here. Chris Davis, he signs with the Rays there. So the Rays get a good deal there. $109.9 million deal for six years there. That is going to be something that the AL, uh, that the, uh, I'm sure Baltimore is probably scratching their hands like, why did we let him go? He's in our division. We shouldn't have let that happen. Uh, and then uh, Ian Desmond there for the Tigers there. Um, so far here, it's been kind of uh, quiet for um, the Central right now. Uh, I'm going to have to look into exactly what's going on here because uh, there's not been too many big moves uh, for uh, too many. I mean, the White Sox made a couple of moves, and you've seen the Tigers there made a move, and then um, I think uh, Cleveland got uh, uh, someone off the their, um, uh, from free agency there. But for the most part here, I think it's it's been a pretty interesting year um, or a pretty interesting uh, offseason here. And we'll see how that goes. There's take here. We're just taking a look here at the road or the lineup here of how things are going to go um, on uh, days that we have a DH, and then of course days we don't have a DH uh, with lefties and righties there. So, like I said, a, a, a kind of a shift of uh, who's going to be on the team and who's not, or who's going to be in the lineup, but who's not. Uh, might be some position or not position changes, some 
changes in their position on the um, lineup there. Uh, I'm just going to kind of work with that. And uh, as we go through the um, preseason games here, uh, we'll show you some of those preseason games here coming up here short, uh, soon here on the channel. Uh, they won't be really announced. They'll just be up. Uh, and they'll be, like I said, just uh, full raw footage of those uh, games. And you guys can see what we're doing. Um, and, uh, and then somewhere in the middle of that, we might have a preseason uh, or a uh, spring training video or something like that talking about what we've done and who's done what in maybe the first 10 games or so um, for this uh, offseason. But this will be our last time. This will be the last time we'll be in MLB 16 uh, because we will be moving on. Uh, we're going to be moving on to MLB 17, the show, and we'll play there and see what we can do in that situation. Uh, move And like I said, we want to try to move this series as quickly as we can. So uh, I have a somewhat of an idea of plan of how things are going to go. Uh, but for the most part here, uh, it's, you know, we're going to try to showcase some uh, players and a couple of uh, di different uh, series there uh, in the first month or so. Um, I think we may do, like I said, anywhere from two to three series uh, within every single month. And then, of course, have our um, spotlight videos of players uh, that we're going to be showcasing uh, that we want you guys to pay attention to and, and, and what we're looking forward to for those guys in the future with this ball club. Uh, and all those will be coming up here very shortly here on the channel. So, uh, but the Royals franchise will go on hiatus and then we'll bring all that kind of stuff that I just mentioned back um, in, uh, here in a couple of weeks. So, Thank you guys uh, for joining me here on the Royal Court Insider. Stay tuned for more Kansas City Royals franchise. Not to mention also stay tuned for more St. Louis Cardinals franchise. Yes, we're going to bring back the Cardinals. And we'll uh, leave. We'll continue where we left off at with them. And uh, get their series also. Uh, their franchise series moving along there also here. So got two big franchises here. And uh, going to different directions here. And we'll see uh, how things go coming up here. Uh, with that series uh, there so stay tuned for more like I said here on the channel if you guys have not yet uh, hit that like button hit that like button it helps everybody else find the videos here on ESGN net follow us on Facebook Twitter and to score the links are down below in the description also don't forget to hit that noti bell notification for you guys to be notified when these videos are coming out and such here on ESGN net thank you guys again and as always keep yourselves healthy and I will see you guys next time.